Hello, I'm Jennifer Swain, Director of Programs for YouthSpark. YouthSpark is an anti-trafficking organization that started with victim services and owned and operated a safe house for girls under 18 who were victims of child sex trafficking. When we started back in the early 2000s, in Georgia, it was a $50 fine to pimp a minor. We realized that there were a lot of young girls coming through the juvenile court system and they were arrested, treated, and charged as prostitutes. At YouthSpark, we believe that there is no such thing as a child prostitute. And with the legal age of consent being 16 years old in Georgia, no child can make the decision to sell him or herself for sex. And we began to go across the state to make sure that people recognize that this is a problem that is facing our children, not happening somewhere else in another country, but right here in our backyards. And we wanted to make sure that they were treated as victims and not criminals. Annika is one of the very first girls that I worked with. When she came into our program, she came through the Fulton County Juvenile Court on probation because she hadn't been to school in a really long time. And while we were teaching her the tools on how to spot traffickers, what to look out for, how to protect herself, she found herself groomed while in our program and was embarrassed to tell us that she had been placed on a website and basically been advertised for sex. One day she came into our offices with her eyes blood red, shaking and said, I have something to tell you. And when she sat down, the fear, the shame and embarrassment across her face was quite shocking. But we were able to make her strong, give her a voice. We went online and we were able to take those ads down and begin to restore her, restore her self-esteem. And one of the things that we do at Youth Spark Voices is teach our girls, this is very easy to get caught up in, but it's really, really hard to get out of. A lot of times these girls have inappropriate adult relationships. And when those red flags become apparent, we train probation officers to refer those girls to our program so that we can provide critical intervention